Hi everyone, it's Happy Mail Queen. Today I have an Alina Craft Design Team project to share with you guys. And I used a few dies. Um, these two right here are the ones from her new release, or I should say her May release. And then this one was from the previous release. And then this was Christmas, but I only used the, um, the circle dies for this one i love this die if you guys don't have this die this is a must have if you don't have these um nesting circle dies um, that are stitched um because it does stitch they're double stitch well when you cut them out it, it only gives you one stitch but um it gives you a stitch on the other side so like the negative um portion of your die cut so anyway um but yes, I had fun playing with um, these two new dies that she has in the shop. Um, these two I used together and then um, I made one little um, embellishment with this one. So let me go ahead and share what I created for you guys. The umbrella and rain boots die that you see right here. I made this cute little embellishment. Let me go ahead and zoom a little bit. Let me see, let's make sure it's focusing. Okay, so I made this cute little bag. Now, I was going to make this a memory deck. I could probably still do it and just add the bottom part. Um, but for now, this is how I made it. So um, a lot of ladies have been making these clear totes. Um, and anyway, I thought I'd make a teeny tiny version of it and I thought it'd be really cute. Now I made this last month in May, so that's why it has that May uh, theme. I used the Bloom Street collection um, and I used some cardstock or glittered cardstock from my stash and lots of fun sequins on the inside right here. Uh, those are not Alina Craft uh, sequins. Um, but you can definitely use whatever you have in your stash. And I put this bow up here and it's just so cute. And I thought it'd be really nice to just, um, put the little umbrella inside the little tote. I thought that was a really cute idea. And then I have this, um, little umbrella charm that I can't remember if I was gifted this or if I got this from Frank Garcia studio, cause he has these cute little charms in her, in his shop. I don't know if he still has it, but I know I bought some. Um, they're so cute. And I thought it went perfectly with this project. And then I just made a little um, little sequins uh, charm there um, by using one of my, um, um, it's not really sequins, but I guess you can call it a sequins butterfly. So, and then I just added the Semolina Craft bling in the middle. And then, um, as you can see, um, inside, um, on the rain boots, I don't know if you can see that, on the rain boots, um, I also put a little flower sequins there and a little bling. It's a little sparkly, so I don't know. It's kind of hard to pick it up, but I thought it was so cute. And then I just put some more um, sequins mix inside, and it looks like that. I did stitch it. And um, I put a little star there. Um, and that's it. It's a, it's a close bag. So um, I thought it was super cute. So there's my first project for Alina. Now I'm using the Lady Purse Shaker die. This die here comes in um, three, uh, three parts. Um, there's two layering dies. And let me go ahead and show you what I made with those. So um, here's the first one. And I do have a Disney theme, as you can see here. <laughs> um, so for this one here, I used, um, yeah, I used all the dies. So I started off with um, cutting my background die with this one right here. And with some glitter cardstock and I think I also used um, some regular cardstock just to make it nice and sturdy and then I used these two here to create the layer on top with the design on it and then I just punched out a little Mickey Mouse head because I wanted this to be a Disney theme 
and um, because I'm making this embellishment to put inside um, the um, shaker envelopes that I made so um so stinking cute and then i added some alina craft bling on the ears and then also on the little uh purse um what do you call it i don't know what those are called but it's the it's where that would be the hardware for you know when you open and close the purse and then i just made um, a little charm here using my little mickey key so stinking adorable right and I can just hang this on any project or um, I'll probably be gifting this one but so so stinking cute and so um, that's one of them and then I made a shaker for some of them so here's a purple one right here I just used some sequence mix um, and as you can see there I used the purple um, Alina craft um, the little Mickey heads. I also use that and I'll make sure I leave the link to all the products that I used from Arlene Craft Store. Um, and then again I used um, some bling bling. I love these flat back pearls and they're just so cute. And so the back looks like that. So I did finish both sides and I really like um, the style of this one I like putting the Mickey head on the side so I thought that was super duper cute and then um, I made a pink one of course I have to make a pink one <laughs> and um, again I used the um, Fimo um, slices from Alina Craft the little Mickey heads and also these teeny tiny flowers and stars from her shop um, but uh, for this one here, um, I did back it up with some cardstock in the back there. So, and I also kept this open. So I thought that was super cute. So isn't this adorable? They're just cute little purses that are so easy to put together. I just used some acetate to make the shakers, and then um, here's a blue one. So as you can see, I made them in every color <laughs> of the rainbow. Um, had to make a, a pretty uh, blue one right here. Super cute, right? And just use some sequence mixes from my um, stash. Um, the little hearts are actually from Alina, not hearts, sorry. Um, the little open uh, stars. Those sequence are from um, um, Alina Craft. And then the back looks like that as well. So this one says, you know, a through and through uh, um, shaker and then I think I did make another yellow super cute and had to use that little yellow Mickey head right there and um, super duper cute I had so much fun as you can see I made so many of them sorry it keeps going out of focus and then I had to make a purple one so here's the last one that I made so they're so cute and remember how I made these um, these guys right here so that's what I was planning on doing was just um, sticking these in there and then I can just send them off and gift them to someone I could probably stick more stuff in there too but anyway that's how it's gonna look like so hopefully whenever I'm able to send some happy mail I'll be doing that Okay, so on with the next project and for my last project I did use this box making I think it's called the box making die set um, and it basically helps you create uh, any box um, any size and any shape and then the, it comes with the handle and so let me go ahead and show you what I created and I'm, I'm not not even done making because I need to make some more of these so I created this little cutie purse isn't this adorable so for this one I used the um, let's see what is it called the flower market um, paper from Cartabella and I love this pretty coral um, and so as you can see I had to use a circle 
you you don't have to it's any shape you want but i used the circle die and for this one i think i used the um the second to the largest circle and um and you you can use this one because it has that stitched see it has a stitched um uh, design on it and then um Alina uh, actually um, on her YouTube channel she has a tutorial on how to create these boxes and other ways to create the um, a circle box I think she made one that is flat on the bottom but I wanted to keep mine nice and round because I just think it's so much cuter but so that it will stand on your desk like this um, I went ahead and put some feet on the bottom okay and um, I used some um, pearl trims for my stash um, and then um, this uh, bow that I created and I put some Alina craft bling in the middle and I just think it came out so cute and I just put a couple of charms and also this tassel that my BFF gave me thanks Erica this went perfectly with this project um, and then it opens up so this is the top the top is the one that has the um, well all the decoration actually but it has the handle and I love that the handle is also stitched as you can see there and so you just open it up and it looks like that and so um, this one doesn't have the stitch finish on the inside I don't know I might have to put another layer in there but um, this is a nice pretty one right here it's because um, this one's a little bit smaller I had to um, trim the circle down so that's why I lost the stitched uh, design on it and because you have to keep in mind you have to make the inner um, box the inner part or the bottom part you have to make it smaller than the lid okay so really really cute and it just looks like that so i love the way this came out so yes this is a must have die um, because like i said you can make it any shape you want and this just allows you to um, create those little flaps so that you can attach the side to um, the shape um, top that you decide to do so anyway i hope you guys liked my projects for today for alina craft um make sure you check the description box for all the links that i um, will be putting on the in the description box i'll leave, leave you a list of all the products that i used today on my projects that i shared and i hope you guys have a wonderful wonderful day thanks so much for watching bye, -bye.